What's up everyone? Today I'm going to go over the P settings for this MS668 display that came with my Yunli Steinway controllers. Uh, I bought this kit off Banggood and this is the display that came with it. So first of all, um, in my opinion, this is a terrible throttle on this thing. Uh, I don't like it at all. I'm going to swap this whole, you know, display throttle out with uh, something different. And that's why I want to go over the P settings for this particular setup before I yank this one off of here, uh, never to go back to it. The problem it has, there's a significant delay with the throttle. Um, if you're going a certain speed and you let off the throttle, it keeps going for a second or so after you let off the throttle before it starts slowing down. Um, but worse than that, you can't just give it a little quick bursts of throttle. Turn it off here real quick like this. Like uh, sometimes you, you want to just boost forward a little bit, right? Just just go forward a little bit slowly. Can't do it with this because uh, it senses that you put the throttle on, but it, it takes it a second or so to sense that you've let off the throttle. Just going like this for you know a quarter of a second, maybe even less than that. But then I'm going to get a second to a second and a half worth of throttle out of it. Uh, let me just demonstrate that real quick. Turn this on. Um, go up to third gear, single motor mode. I'm just going to really quick snap the throttle back like that and let it go, just like that. And watch what the motor does. You can see that much uh, power you get at that motor when you're just trying to bump it forward a little bit. Here it is again. Yeah, you can hear the clicking of the throttle um, when I let go of it. So um, it's, it's really uh, kind of unsafe even, like if you were riding where there were a trail or something, there were some people in front of you and you want to just go like slow till you could get around them or something and you just hit your throttle a little bit, um, it would just lunge forward and, and uh, it's not a, good, not a good situation. I could get used to it, I've ridden scooters a long time um, and I could very easily get used to it and just know not to do that. But that's something I like to do, I want to do. I shouldn't have to limit, you know, what I do because of the throttle. So anyway, that's why I'm swapping that out. I'm going to go over the P settings first with it. Um, by the way, I did have a viewer say he got the same kit, not, not from Banggood, but the two Unilee Sinewave controllers, and he got a QSS4 display, and he said it does not have that problem. Um, I actually went online looking for a 5-pin uh, QSS4 display. I couldn't find a QSS4 with a 5-pin connection. Um, but perhaps that exists uh, out there somewhere. Um, what I did is I went directly to the Yunli factory store website and they're called Ordu Speed. Okay, on their homepage, the website, uh, one thing you can do is click down here and always support your scooter. And there's two files there. Um, I just emailed them to myself and convert, you know, convert them to PDF on my end. One is for the wiring of the Yunli controllers and the other is for the learn function of the Yunli sine wave controllers. Okay, also back on the home page, if we click up here, um, there's their controller store. And you get to this page, it's the official Yunli factory store. So this is basically the manufacturer of the controllers have their own store on AliExpress. So if we click on that, it takes you to AliExpress and their store there where you can buy various different things. Here's the controllers here, I believe, yes. 60 volt, 45 amp, that's it. That's the same controllers. And they're selling it with a different display. Uh, so I actually ordered one of these, the DDS20, or the DS20, DS20. Um, and you can see right there, open test version. Um, they were kind of scarce. They, they have them and didn't have them. At one point they said they were sold out, uh, but I actually got one ordered a couple days later. It's supposed to be nice and smooth, no lag, very good response to it. Um, and it's the display made by the Yunli company that makes the controllers. So, you know, they made the controllers, they made this display. Makes sense, it's gonna be a better display and throttle uh, for the controllers. So I'll be doing that in a different video. Um, for now, let's get back to the P settings for this MS668. Okay, so here are the P settings for the MS668 display slash throttle. P01, backlight brightness. Level 1 is the darkest. Level 3 is the brightest. They default to level 3, the brightest setting. P02, mileage, if you want to display in uh, kilometers or in 
uh, miles per hour. Number one is for miles uh, and miles per hour. P03 says voltage level. I believe this is supposed to be a cutoff voltage. Default says 52 volts. P04 dormancy, dormancy time. That's how long the display sits if it's idle, if you're not using it. The range is 1 to 60 minutes. Default is 5. Uh, P06 wheel diameter. The unit is inches. The accuracy is 0 0.1. Default is 10, so 10 inch wheel diameter. These are 11 inch wheels, so I'm not sure why it's at 10, but it's really irrelevant because all that setting will do is it will manipulate your miles per hour shown on display as well as your mileage shown on display. Um, so it's really irrelevant. I just left mine set at 10. P07, speed measuring magnetic steel numbers. The range is 0 to 255, defaults 28. This again just goes into the uh, miles per hour read on the display and the mileage read on the display. So between P06, the wheel diameter, and P07, you, you could adjust those to try and make them accurate. The display, uh, the mileage display, miles per hour on any scooter display is not going to be terribly accurate or linear unless it's GPS. Uh, that's why I, I just kind of ignore those anyway and just use a GPS app on my phone that I know is 100% accurate. Okay, moving on. P08, rate limiting. This is your speed rate limiting. 100 means you'll get 100% power out of the scooter. If you want to knock down the power, if they're like somebody who hasn't ridden much, you could put down like 25, which would be like 25%, so it's going to tame it down a bit. Uh, but again, 100 is the highest setting. Okay, P09, zero start, no zero start. Um, and basically what this is, is if the throttle will make it go when you hit it, even if you're standing still, or if, it, or if you have to push it uh, and get the wheels rolling before the throttle will activate. Zero means zero, uh, the setting zero means zero start, meaning It'll just go when you hit the throttle. One means no zero start, which means you have to push the scooter before a throttle will engage. Um, default is zero, so the scooter will go as soon as you hit the throttle. Um, P12, soft and hard start strength. The range is one to five. Softest is one, the hardest is five. Default is three. I believe what that is, is the amount of torque you're gonna get um, from starting. So you're sitting there stopped, you hit the throttle, full throttle, how much torque is it gonna give you? Five would be the hardest torque or the most torque you're going to get out of it. Um, default is three, so it's kind of like right in the middle. Uh, you could lower it if you wanted. If you felt there's too much, you know, pull on it when you're throttling, you could tame it down by lowering the number or, or give it full power by uh, setting that to five. And that's P012. I'm sorry, P12. Okay, P uh, skips up to P16. That's your uh, odometer. If you press and hold it for five seconds, it'll clear your odometer setting. Uh, P17, cruise control. When it's set to zero, you don't have cruise control. When it's set to one, you have cruise control. It's de defaulted to no cruise control, which is a good thing. I don't like cruise control on a scooter. Um, basically what happens if you hold the throttle and hold your speed steady for about four seconds, then you can let go of the throttle and just continue to cruise at that speed. I want to be in control of the throttle at all times without having it take over. So I leave mine set to zero, so it's not in cruise control. And last one, P18, is reserved, so there's nothing for that. Um, one thing I notice on here, there's no setting for the electronic braking uh, for the motors. Okay, so there's no setting for that on this MS668 display, but uh, it does appear to have motor brakes. First, I'm just going to get up to speed and let the motor coast to a stop by itself. Okay, it's coasting by itself right now. You can see about how long it took to stop. Now I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to apply the right front brake. Brakes on. Yeah, you can see when the, when the brake light comes on when I put it on. So again, you can see how quick it stops that way, as opposed to coasting. Now it's just coasting. So that's without using the brake pads at all, because I'm, I'm putting on the front brake, so it's just using the motor braking. Uh, so it does have that feature, you just can't set the strength of it. I'm going to be swapping out this uh, throttle now with my new DS20, and that will be the next video, undoubtedly. Till then, guys, take care, peace, ride safe.